Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be more of a vlog about traveling through Bulgaria. We're going to go to the mountains. We're going to go to the seaside, visit some cities on the way there. So I'm going to do this with some friends. I'm going to pick them up in a bit. And I am doing it in a VW Tiguan. The car, um, I just took it like uh, half an hour ago from uh, this rental place. Top rental car, to my knowledge, they are the biggest rental company in Bulgaria. They have a lot of different cars, uh, interesting ones as well, like DSs. Like I wouldn't expect to see a rental DS, but they do. But this time I'm in, yeah, in something more traditional. VW Tiguan, as I mentioned, uh, it's petrol. I actually don't know which engine exactly, but it's also brand new. The car's done just 43 kilometers, and I've already done 10 of these. So here we are meeting uh, my friends, Steven and Nick, and uh, we're gonna be traveling together. And we've already filled pretty much the boot of the car as well as part of the back seat. But luckily, the Tiguan is fairly spacious. On our way there, we decided to stop in the small town of Batak, cradled by the mountains. This town bears the tragic history of the Batak massacre. In the 1876 uprising, Ottoman forces besieged the town, mercilessly slaughtering thousands of people, even after locals had surrendered. Heartbreakingly, women and children seeking refuge in the church were not spared from the violence. Inside the church, the scars of history remain evident. Bullet holes marking the walls and a well, a desperate attempt by those trapped inside to find some water. In the late afternoon, we finally arrived at our destination. Duspat Dam greeted us with views that could rival the best of nature's postcards, wrapping us in the tranquil embrace that only a dam nestled 1200 meters high, surrounded by mountains, can provide. Morning broke, and with it, our eagerness to explore local gems. VW Tiguan's ground clearance was quickly earning my nod of approval, vital for navigating some not so good roads in the area. But first a pit stop in town was in order, where we had the quintessential Bulgarian breakfast. Banica and Buza. We decided to visit a local viewpoint called Eagle's Eye. Now, we had the option of an SUV ride to this attraction, undoubtedly a cool choice, but having all that energy from the Banica, we opted for a one-hour hike to the top. From up there, the road lay 600 meters beneath us, a sight that truly redefined the word cool. Now, take a look at Steve and Nick. Can't blame them for feeling a tad wary about going to the very edge of the platform. Next on our hit list, the underground wonder, the Devil's Throat Cave. Brace yourself for some decibels as this cave plays host to a roaring 42 meter subterranean waterfall. Legend has it, this very cave served as Orpheus' gateway to the realm of Hades. Exiting this natural wonderland posed a challenge, a daunting 300 step climb. Good thing that we had that bandit in the morning. As we transitioned back to civilization, our pit stop was Plovdiv, a city with millennia-old tale. Tracing its roots to the Thracians and Romans is the second largest city in Bulgaria. After a pleasant lunch in Kapana district, we went into the old town, 
where Bulgarian Renaissance architecture showed off its finest. Amidst these treasures, the Balabanov house reigned supreme, a testament to the opulence enjoyed by some 19th century merchants. Oh, and picture this, stumbling upon a hidden gem, absent from tourist maps. And hold on, a Christmas market in the midst of summer? Well, that's show business for you, it turns out we had stumbled onto a film set. Plodiv, always one to surprise. Now onto the sun-kissed shores. The sun smiled, the beaches gleamed, empty setting the stage for a splendid early summer. We had beautiful sunsets and lively evenings. Yet our prime mission? Dive in of course. And right there was our target, the renowned Crocodile Rock. Despite less than ideal conditions, visibility at 12 meters wasn't all crystal clear. Yet, amid the aquatic haze, behold Steve's daring reach for a stone mermaid's bosom. A classic move, one might say. But fear not, he atoned with a visit to an underground chapel right after. Now that's an underwater adventure with character. Just a hop away from our diving spot, we stumbled upon the ancient Thracian sanctuary Bekliktas. A relic of the ages, it likely moonlighted as a colossal calendar for the Thracians, complete with a few bonus features, including the art of sacrifice. Yet again, an Orpheus and Hades legend graced the scene, suggesting Orpheus took a detour to the underworld through a maze here, bypassing the cave we explored earlier. Ancient mysteries, eh? But wait, there's more to uncover by the seaside. Our journey led us to another coastal treasure, Suzopu. This charming old town boasts not just remarkable architecture and quaint streets, but also an artistic flair, succulent figs and the leisurely art of parking like a jerk. Suzopu encapsulated the essence of coastal bliss. With our seaside adventure drawing to a close, we travelled to the office of Top Rent a Car at Burgas Airport, where we spiced up things a little by swapping our trusty Tiguan for a Ford Transit Custom. Yep, these folks sure have an impressive lineup. Just a stone's throw from the Top Rent a Car parking lot, an aviation museum caught our eye. Well, you know us, we couldn't resist. It turned out better than expected as we were allowed into the cockpit of old fighter jets, pushing buttons like kids in a candy store and for the extravagant a taste of luxury in the first class booth of a vintage AM. Who says museums can't be hands on? As the day drew to a close we found ourselves back amidst the mountains, this time in the embrace of Stara Planina near Elena. We had a brief stroll through yet another charming old town. With the sun setting, it was time to wrap up this remarkable journey. We pointed our compass towards Sofia, the city that marked both our starting point and our grand finale. In just one week, Bulgaria unveiled its beauty. Mountains climbed, depths explored and seas embraced. Our trusty VW Tiguan became more than a car, it was our partner in discovery. Through tranquil landscapes and historical cities, our journey weaved a tapestry of experiences. With each road conquered, our Tiguan's ground clearance proved its worth. From rugged paths to hidden gems, every moment etched memories into our hearts. 
Cheers to Top Rent a Car, our comrades in this adventure.